what is a MIT server and how does MIT server facilitate an integration between ServiceNow and the tools which are hosted in your company's intranet. If you are not sure what is an integration, please click on the top right corner. Also, please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video if this video will be helpful to you. First of all, what is a MIT server? The management, instrumentation and discovery. So that's the short form MID. Server is a Java application that runs on Windows service or Unix daemon. So basically it's a service if it is running on Windows or it's a daemon if it runs on Unix server. The MIT server facilitates communication and movement of data between the ServiceNow platform and external application data sources and services. The MIT server isn't really a server but a service that runs on a server. If applications on your company network are not exposed to internet and you want ServiceNow to interface with them, a MIT server is definitely needed. I haven't seen any organization which doesn't have at least one MIT server. As a ServiceNow consultant or a developer, you must know what is the use of MIT server and how does its architecture look and where exactly you want to use the MIT server. So this is an architecture diagram where ServiceNow wants to access data in SCCM and SCCM is an application or a tool which is hosted on organization's intranet. So ServiceNow tries to access this SCCM through APIs which were provided by the SCCM team but it won't be able to access that because the firewalls won't allow any tool which is on cloud and for a matter of fact if they are located in any other domain the firewalls will reject that request and ServiceNow will not be able to access that data in SCCM or any other tool which has been hosted in your organization's intranet. For that we will have a MIT server which is a service which we read in the first slide. We will install that MIT server on any server which is in your organization's intranet and as soon as we install that we will give the name of the ServiceNow instance which it should be related to. If you want to see how can we install MIT server on your organization's intranet, please click on the top right corner. And as soon as we install this, it should be able to read data from SCCM because it is located within organization's intranet. So the communication between these two MIT server and SCCM would be established and there will be no firewall issue in there as well as MIT server is a trusted source between ServiceNow and MIT server and MIT server will have a direct connection with ServiceNow so, so MIT server will be able to transfer that data into ServiceNow as well. So if we see MIT server is the middleman who facilitates the communication between other tools in your organization intranet and your ServiceNow. And this is how the architecture diagram of your MIT server looks like. I hope this video was helpful to you. I tried to keep it short. Please do like this video and subscribe to my channel and let me know in comments if you have any questions.